Good afternoon, everyone. So this is going to be quick and brief. Um, I just thought about something I should share with you regarding cholesterol. Usually, if you have uh, been eating badly and been overweight, you probably have an issue with your cholesterol. Um, one of the things um, that I have struggled with in the past when I did have the weight on was um, my cholesterol was high. I refused to get on statins um, and I just was like, I'm not doing it uh, courtesy of my brother. So I used to um, give a lot of pushback to my docs about getting on statins because my brother was always like, no, you shouldn't be on statins because they mess with your brain and you don't want to lose the fat from your brain because um, all cholesterol isn't bad and you need even some of that bad quote unquote cholesterol in your brain. Um, we'll at some point uh, have another discussion about good and bad cholesterol more in depth, but I just wanted to share with you what I did on my own to get my LDL number down. Now, originally my um, LDL, which is the number that I always had an issue with, was high, but this time after losing the weight, it was higher than it had ever been, which didn't make sense to me. I was like, I'm eating better, I'm lighter, <laughs> I lost weight, and you're telling me that my LDL is worse. And when I sat down and I thought about it, um, I said, wait a minute, Roz, what's been missing from your diet? And this is the key to why you need to keep track of what you eat. Because I realized that when I was doing low carbs, I took the a lot of the fiber out, the main fiber, which was oatmeal, I took out of my diet. I wasn't doing oatmeal. so when my doctor was talking about oh your numbers are horrible i was just like no my ldl is horrible but my hdl is 74 and my triglycerides were 70 so i knew something was a little squirrely in my results and i knew what i needed to do to get my ldl down which was to reincorporate the oatmeal which i did discuss in the last video and i also incorporated some hemp protein powder uh, hemp protein powder is really good for you and at first I was using whey protein powders but then when I started using the hemp uh, protein powders I realized I can get fiber in and I can get my protein. Now it doesn't provide as much protein as the whey, the whey and the, the casein, 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 I always pronounce it wrong. Usually they supply much more protein but I um, sacrificed a little bit of the protein to be able to get some fiber in. And my numbers from six months ago when it was at 268, my LDL was at 268. When I went to the doctor last week or the week before, my LDL in six months had dropped to 139. So I knew that it was because of that, that my LDL number dropped. So I say this to say to you that this is why it is so important that you keep track of your diet and what you are eating, because when you know yourself, then you know if something is off, what you need to do to correct it without medication. I'm not saying that some people will never need statins or whatever, but you want to kind of not touch that unless absolutely necessary. And I guarantee you there's like a thousand things you can do before you get on a statin. Um, I worked in healthcare for seven years and I know that, you know, docs, they got 15 minutes to spend with you and they'll be ready in a minute to just kind of throw you on something to get the numbers down so that they can show that there is some success, but you don't want other people's success to be at the expense of your health. So I'm just telling you that doing something simple as incorporating some oatmeal in your diet or some hemp protein powder in your diet will help you to get that LDL down. Um, I haven't had a problem with my triglycerides. Usually I think with that one, it's more of like if you drink and there's some other factors with triglycerides, I've never had a problem with my triglycerides. As far as my HDL, my HDL has steadily gone up over the years. It is at like 74 now, which is great. And it's because I take fish oil every day too. And I actually started incorporating a little more fish into my diet. I'm not a fish fanatic, but I feel like with um, the fish oil, it kind of gives me a little more um, protection um, for the times when I don't eat enough fish. So I just wanted to share that with you. And 
Hope that you have a good day. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I release another video. And I will see you shortly. Bye.